Green. Closest to us is Locke of Great Britain, then Chikamani the French, Suleiman Qatar, Sullivan Ireland, El Bassia. Ryan Garbo. Vickyosa, McMullen. Bow and El Garouge, Karcho, the Olympic champion, as they about to come up. This is going to be a tremendous race, Bruce. You see Nouradine Morcelli, defending champion, the last two world championships, world record holder. There he is in the red shorts and the white. Naim Garbo with a green singlet and a red shorts. Right in the middle of screen. Karcho wide. Tremendous matchup between Leon Garbo and Moore Sally. Remembering that these two haven't raced each other all year, even though they rank number one and two in the world. Moore Sally, who's uh, won the last two world championships by massive margins in Tokyo and Stuttgart. Away cleanly. Suleiman was out the back early. Look at Moore Sally, three from the outside. Carcho both coming across with McMullen. 2 6 2 9 Garbo. What will be the tactics here? Will they go out hard and try to beat Morsley? If they sit and sprint, it looks impossible to beat him. If it's just even, it looks impossible to beat him. They must try something different, and we look like we might be getting it early. The Americans gone out hard here. McMullen to lead. 9 Garbo second. Morsley third. Chikamani fourth. Carcho sitting on Morsley. El Garou, 8 7 5. Lock on the inside. Great Britain. Sullivan, Canada. He's four from the back. Bruton outside of him Vickyosa, El Bassia two from the back and Suleiman at the back as McMullen leads the big guns. Nine Garbo and Morsley who's in third place. The only chance really that McMullen's got to have a, have a crack at any sort of medal is to take it out. He knows that the other African runners are so much faster than he is. He's had a good year so far. Run 3.36.9, 57.4 for that first lap. Very quick. Nine Garbo 262, Morsley looked around 108, hasn't lost a 1500 since the Olympic final in 1992, hasn't raced Nine Garbo as Deke said this year, last year beat him in a thriller in Lille, Carcho's fifth, Chekamani's third, El Garou sitting on Carcho, who sits on Morsley, who sits on Nine Garbo, trouble, Vicky Osa was involved there with Carcho, Morsley had to step aside. The pace has slowed down considerably now, you can see that the field is really getting quite bunched up, going wide. Vicky Osa, the widest, 428. 875, El Garouge, who won the world indoors. Morsley looks perfectly placed at 800. Nyan Garbo has to wind this up a long way from home. He doesn't have the high speed of a Carcho or a Morsley in the last lap, but he can take it a long way out. Has he the courage to put it to Morsley here today and go for a long run? 62 after 57. They're playing into the favourites' hands. I think they've almost accepted, Bruce, that uh, the gold is gone. They're racing now probably for silver and bronze. I can't see how Morselli can be beaten off this slower pace. Again, McMullen inside nine Garbo. He's waited all year to get a crack at Morselli. Now he goes a little nine Garbo. They do start to run a bit. Morselli sits and goes with him. Nine Garbo cuts across in front of McMullen. Morsley goes straight past him. Earl Garouge the first to respond. The three favourites, one, two, three. Carcho couldn't go with them. Earl Bashir outside McMullen. Well, it's Morsley who's going to make the drive for home. Look at him wind it. Nine Garbo, Earl Garouge will try and hang on to him. The champ's away, but Nine Garbo will try and stick. Can't for the moment. 55 lap. He's stretching them now. Look at him go already, Morsley. Five metres, nine Garbo. Three metres, El Garouge. Two metres, El Bashir. He won by a record margin in Tokyo. He nearly matched it in Stuttgart. He'll better it here. Look at this man go. He's the world record holder from 1,500 through to 3,000. He's broken two this year. He's breaking the hearts of the opposition tonight. He might be the greatest we've ever seen. It's Herb Elliott in Rome all over again. What a margin. El Garouge second. Looks, stops, celebrates. El Garouge two, Nyan Garbo three. Deke, have you seen anyone better than that? There's no way, Bruce. <laughs> Incredible domination of a race of that quality field to be able to come out 
They played right into his hands. I can't understand. Neon Garbo faded dramatically over the last 50 to 60 metres, hung on for the bronze. El Garouche ran over the top of him. They're just not in the same class. Well, you said uh, at the start of the show that he was really running against Michael Johnson and competing against Sergei Bubka and Haley Grebra Selesi. It's a 51 second last lap. Cacho split at 50.4 off a crawl in Barcelona in 1992. He's come off a faster pace in 51. And like Bulmerka, the Algerians again have completed the double as they did in Tokyo in 1991. He is unstoppable, Deke, at the moment. Well, he just continues his dominance of this distance. World record holder at 1500, world record holder at mile, world record holder.